Guys, we need to have a serious talk about disability. Now, I personally find it amazing to watch events like the Paralympic Games, where you see people truly excel at something they love. But the way we talk about people with disabilities and impairments and the way they are represented in the media often does them a massive disservice. Why, you ask? Let me explain. This is GMF Compact. When we focus on disability in the news business, the way we report can oftentimes reduce people to nothing but their disability. Now, not only is this an active act of othering, but it also perpetuates stereotypes, tropes, and roles that many people with disabilities, frankly, are sick of hearing. For example, people with disabilities do not need to be rescued from anything in life, really. Yet, a 2019 study found that characters with disabilities in films are a third more likely to be portrayed as needing rescue. Now, that means that they are depicted as victims, as individuals without agency. What does that say about us and about society? And then there is the other extreme, where having a disability is portrayed as something that has to be overcome with great sacrifice in the face of all imaginable adversity. I am um, not, not dumb, dumb now. No. Look, people with disabilities and impairments are just fine. And if they, say, choose to compete in the Paralympics or run a marathon, it's certainly not because they have anything to prove to you. They're not in it to become heroes, and they're certainly not in it to be someone's source of inspiration. Put social issues ahead of box office success. And we in the media have to pay special attention to making sure that they're treated with dignity, respect, and equality. Even today, there are reality TV shows where people living with dwarfism are the butt of the joke. According to the UN, there are 1 billion people with disabilities in the world. The good news is that there is growing representation on stage and screen. You have a creepy prejudice against people with disabilities. You noticed. It would be hard not to. You're literally always killing them. Doctor No, amputee with no hands. Largo, missing an eye. Disabled. Journalists are more sensitized on how to report what language to use and how to frame their protagonists when they have physical impairments. I wish I was the monster you think I am. But it's not enough. A person is more than just their disability. The fullness of their life is no different than that of someone without a disability. And remember, someone who does not have a disability today might still acquire one in the future through an illness or an accident. And that someone might just be you. And would you want to be reduced to your disability?